Welcome back guys, it's me Mr. Frederick once again and today we're going to be talking about vertical angles as promised in the last video that I was talking about uh, on supplementary angles, okay? Now, vertical angles, simple definition is that they are congruent opposite angles forming by intersecting lines. So we have, we have um, two intersecting lines that have intersected here and I numbered them one, two, three, and four. So according to this, it says that the congruent opposite angles, they're congruent. So congruent means that they're equal, okay? They're equal to each other. So that means one, the angle one is equal to number three, opposite of each other. And angle four is equal to two, okay? It also means that number one, and four and two, they are supplementary. See, just like we mentioned last time. As well as four and three are also supplementary. Um two, two and three as well, and one and four as well. But let's dive into the vertical angle more. So one and three is equal. So here's an example. Say the measure of angle one is, actually, no, let's do this way. Let's say the measure of angle two is, is 65 degrees. But we need to, but we're looking for the measure of angle three. How will we find that? You see? We're going to need to know what measure of angle one for is in order to find what three is. Okay? So, what do we do? Since we know that angle one and two are supplementary, meaning they have to equal 180 degrees together, they sum, what do I have to do now? I have to take 180 degrees and I have to subtract it by 65. All right? When I do that, when I subtract the by 65, it gives me 115 degrees. Okay? So the measure of angle 1 is, is 150 degrees. And since the measure of angle 1 is equal to number 3, angle 3, that means also that the measure of angle 3 is also 115 degrees. All right? So just remember that. So measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 3. And the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 4. And this is the vertical line, vertical angles. I mean, these are the vertical angles. They opposite each other and they're congruent meaning they're equal. And the neighbors that are next to them, like 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, and 4 and 1, they're supplementary, just like I indicated here. Supplementary and also supplementary. I'm going to just put sup like that, just to abbreviate that here, to indicate the same thing. Okay? So when you don't have the other one, just basically find the... Get the supplementary angles in order, subtract it from 180, and you will automatically get the other angle that you're looking for. Okay? That's it for vertical angles. Um, this is Mr. Frederick out.